We arrived! <laughs> no, but the hostel, ho hotel was quite nice. Um, so we shared uh, actually kind of like a little, not just a room, it was like our own little house, like a hut. And they had a pool, which was really nice. They um, had a, a really good restaurant there as well, actually. Um, they had a tower where which you could walk up, um, from which you can see over the city, which we only did at night when there wasn't that much to see. But I think normally it, it should be a pretty nice view and apparently you can actually see the Angkor temples from there. And uh, the staff all really friendly, like super friendly. Um, and um, very kind of trying to help you with everything. Um, we, um, they, they offer free bicycle rental, which we did over the next few days. Well, one thing to differentiate, like, uh, I mean, the staff was, I don't know where, where this girl was from, uh, New Zealand, something like this, I think. So some white people and some local Cambodians working there. And I think Cambodians are pretty interesting, actually. Like, I don't Very know. Very shy. Yeah, like it's it's like a mixture of shy, but also they they're not too shy. Like they still do make jokes. Mm. It's sometimes difficult. What to do, right? Mm. I mean, yeah, they, they, yeah, they I do, agree, I agree. Okay, I mean they do laugh a lot, and uh, it's sometimes a bit difficult to understand whether they actually like continue making jokes with us or whether yeah they're not getting it or whether they're like I don't know, but like. <laughs> No? No, I agree, I agree. Uh, Continue. So Patrick um, actually broke two bikes. <laughs> no, he broke one bike. <laughs> we landed in the desert and my bike is like <laughs> about to collapse. One bike. But I think um, it was broke already because I'm not that strong. Yeah, we broke off the steering handle. Um, and they were very nice about that. And uh, he they lost weren't very nice. I had to pay a five dollar fine for that. And I'm sure that the handle was like partly broken already because I mean, come on. Look at his hands. Oh, okay, maybe I broke it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, out oh, there, really nice. Um, so then, Simrip, um, on the first night, we went out with the um, Canadian guy and the British girl, as we said, and we actually went to Pub Street which is the local main street for food, drinks, everything. And it's so, so, so touristy. Well, local in terms of in the city center, yeah. not local yeah. in terms of for the locals. Yeah. It's like made for tourists yeah. only. There's nothing else than tourists there. Exactly. Everything is in English and whatever language. And, and it's expensive. And uh, all the menus are like 200 pages long and you get burgers, fries, pizza, pasta. Every Asian food, every, every food. Western food you would think of, but also like any kind of um, Eastern food. I like the hairstyle. Yeah, me too. You too? Like it. Like the video if you do. That was a bit odd, but um, we went into a bar and had a few drinks. And actually, like when you have a few drinks, you, you just kind of get into it. So you we had a. We had a fun night. It, it was kind of like a club, as you would know it from the UK, yeah. but not from London, but like um, some of the smaller towns in the UK. Very cheesy British. <laughs> But we had a lot of fun. It was funny. Yeah, we just, um, we just said, yeah. It was funny. Yeah. Um, and. Um, yeah, and the next day we actually woke up a bit late and uh, I think we first went to the pool, if I remember correctly, uh, chilled out a bit and then we rented some bicycles and drove around a bit to, through the city um, and then actually to Angkor in the afternoon. To Angkor Wat, 